So the last part we want to do is when we want to apply a labeling rule or an annotation strategy to the columns themselves. So in line three, we want to add a labeling strategy. Now we want to annotate our columns at 45 degrees to the column. So we come into our columns uh, parent level to see the different children available or different settings available to this parent. And our labeling rule, we would come into here and choose one of the predefined rules that closest suits what we want. So for example, section name 45 degrees, apply, let's try that, use, going to create drawing 11, select the boundary, pick OK, save, open up the document manager, look at number 11, and I've got myself a label with the section size at 45 degrees. You'll notice when I pick on the label, it highlights the beam or highlights the item that it's labeled. Okay, this is important because this tells you where the label comes from if the label doesn't have a leader. Now, let's say we want to have the label right next to the column. So what we need to do is change the setting for our rule. So we go into our rule and same as always, we're going to change settings in here, which means we got to change the top level. So let's come into here. Let's change, we'll call it my own 45 degree, pick OK, uh, 45 degree, section name, 40, um, and I'm going to put OL because I want it to overlap. Apply. Okay, so the actual naming convention is fine. Okay, it's going to give us the part name, it's going to give us text only. Take note, we can have a leader or no leader. We can have it at 45 degrees, okay? What we need to do is adjust the labeling arrangement or the position strategy um, as to where this label is going to be placed. Now this label is going to be labeled according to angle. So let's go in and have a look at this strategy. Now first of all, we need to have a look here. So this strategy itself consists of a um, series of tick switches, they're like uh, options for uh, the, the, the positioning strategy. Then at the bottom is a list of angles with a minimum and maximum distance to go and find where it can place this label um, one after another. And again, it depends on which entry it finds first that works that it will use. The important one here is the total geometry must not be overlapped I want to untick that. But you notice I'm editing an existing um, parent or child object. So I must cancel that modification and create a new strategy. So I'm going to call this ABC 45-225 because I only want to label objects at 45 degrees or 225 down to the bottom left. Um, and I'm going to pick OK. I've changed it. I must hit apply. So the important part is untick the, the do not overlap geometry. OK. I only want to use those two. And my maximum distance is going to be 5 mil in each direction. Now it's a good idea to change this name to reflect some of the changes you have here. Now you can see, instead of picking new, I can hit rename and then say um, 1-5 um, overlap, okay? Or the um, common acronym here is L for local, okay? Normally if it's do not overlap, it's G for global. Pick OK, hit apply. We can go back a stage and use this rule now. And again, we're going to create a new drawing. Select our boundary, pick OK, save, model, add document manager, 
open up here and you notice my annotation is now closer to the beam. Okay.